tutorials and welcome back to beginning C++. Uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, doing some problem solving with C++. So we're going to do the standard um, student program that uh, I, I usually do for you know introductory uh, to a computer language. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a program that um, is basically a uh, a computer system for a school that allows you to enter in grades and calculate a student's GPA. Um, so it goes, so it basically converts from a letter A, B, C, D, or F to grade point averages. So A being four, B being three, C being two, D being one. And then, of course, it would divide those numbers by how many numbers of classes you've taken and give you your GPA out. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So first, let's go ahead and modify some of these variables. So let's just make them all doubles just to get rid of any problems with uh, doing division because we I know for sure that we're going to be doing division. So uh, double, um, let's say classes. So classes is going to start off at 0. Then we have um, double GPA and uh, double grade points. Okay, so we're gonna say enter in a variable for cash and then we're gonna have a uh, char current grade. Now current grade is a char, so remember that's a single letter, so allow us to do A, B, C, D, or F and if it's not one of those numbers it will jump to the end and automatically uh, kick it out so of course in this case we're gonna want to do a while loop to and then have the rest nested in it so it's gonna say uh, enter in a variable for cash and then it's gonna oh, enter, in a, enter in a grade and then uh, CN current grade And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump into a while loop. And then while current uh, Let me see here. Let's get rid of this. Actually, we already have a while loop right here. So we're going to have a while loop. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make this guy start off as a um, as an A, right? Actually, no, we already entered it in, so it's fine. So current current grade here, and then while current grade uh. Well, current grade equals A or current grade equals B or current grade equals C or current grade equals D. grade equals F because we're gonna have an F in there so that means that as long as it equals one of these it will jump inside the loop and then here we're gonna have ifs controlling this oops All right, so we're good there. Now we're gonna have a jump in, and we're gonna have ifs. And this is where a really good spot to be a switch, but we haven't gone over switches yet. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna use what we've learned so far and set this up. So let's go ahead and save some time, because we're programmers, right? 
and uh, do copy paste. Okay, so if current grade equals equals A, what we're going to do is we're going to do classes. Classes uh, plus plus. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a double grade points equal, oops, get rid of the, get rid of the, double, of the double part. So we're going to add four because A's are worth four. And let's go ahead and copy this. And each time we're just going to drop down this guy here. So this is going to be three, two, one, zero. Okay, then we have the C out here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to calculate the GPA really quick. GPA equals grade points divided by classes. It's classes. Yeah, classes. Divided by classes. And we're just going to output classes here. And then get rid of this for loop here. Alrighty, so we have the, uh, let's go ahead and look through that loop again. So if current grade equals A, or current grade equals B, or current grade equals C, or current grade equals D, or current grade equals F, it will jump in the loop. So if you enter in a Q, that's what you do to quit, or anything that does that is not an A, B, C, uh, D, or F, will jump outside of the loop, and then finish up calculating your GPA, and then output that. So let's make sure I did uh, <clears throat> everything correctly. Actually, uh, what you want to do is have this guy. I almost forgot this. Have this guy here at the very end. Actually, uh, we're not going to want to do that. We're going to want to do this inside each of these. So you re-enter the grade. Actually, no, that, that is a problem. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to redo, uh, introduce the else if. And else if is basically if the first, this, this has to be um, false in order to jump into this, this has to be uh, false. So it'll allow us to do, um, so if this one's true, it will jump through all of these. So that way it won't, you know, trip over itself, which I'll show you here in a second. I'll show you what happens if you do don't do an else if. All right. So let's go ahead and build that. I'm actually not rendering a video today, so it should be pretty quick. So let's do an A B C D F Q. So it's got a 5.0. Is it a 5.0? It shouldn't be a 5.0. Grade points divided by classes. Okay, so what we're going to do is, since we have a problem, is we're going to copy these. And what we're going to do is we're going to output what your GPA, ooh, that's why. Why do I have classes here? That's the obvious problem. Oops. Okay, let's build this. Okay, so A, B, C, D, F, E. E is not good. So this is, uh, let me grab my calculator really quick. So we got four, four plus three plus two plus one plus zero. Divided by one, two, three, four, five, divided by five is equal to, you have a 2.0. And that's exactly what you got right there. So you see everything works. Now the reason why I did an else if is that if you don't do an else if, so for example here, let's say theoretically I, I did a B. I entered a, oops. I entered in a capital B right here. It would jump right into this loop. 
without going all the way through, which is a problem. We need it to go all the way through. So in this case, uh, sorry that I introduced the if in this. I didn't talk about the last one, but the if else, uh, the else if is that if this one's true, then it won't go through any of these. If this one's false, then it'll go into this one. If this one's false, it'll go into this one. If this one's true, it'll jump through. So I guess it's very, very similar to a switch. It's kind of like a, a, a very, very close to a switch style. We'll have to uh, go over that later. But as you see, it works very, very well, and this is a very good practice for uh, for using uh, all of your uh, loops. As you see, very, very efficient, very, very low code use here. It would be a lot smaller if we were using a switch and also if we were using methods which we'll go over at a later time methods would really really make this a lot better so anything else no that's about it so you saw that we used a lot of copy and paste we maybe had to write you know three lines from scratch and just copy and paste everything out copy and paste everything in to handle all different methods all different uh, entry forms here the a b c d or f and because we handled that inside the while loop it'll keep going as long as it equals these so basically if you enter in anything that is not those grades it will quit out and of course you could add the that line inside here say enter anything else besides those to quit out yeah but uh, that's our own this is called a centennial I believe it's called a centennial loop which basically means that you have to enter in something. So for example, you see on a program it says hit Q to quit, hit Q and then hit enter to quit. That's a centennial loop. This is the exact same thing. It has to equal these values in order to go through and continue through processing. All right, so I guess that's about it, talking about this guy here. We used basically everything we learned so far, so far and did a uh, pretty good program. So go ahead and uh, comment this up if you want to keep it for your records. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's continue on to the next tutorial. All right, so this has been Steven from uh, Legit Tech Tutorials. And I'd like thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos like it in this series and other series as well. If you have any questions, email me. The reference book is in the description. And if you have, uh, if you really like my, if you really like my videos, please uh, check out my website, uh, legittechacademy.com. And if you want to back me with some funding, please uh, check out my Patreon account. That is in the description. And uh, I really appreciate all of your uh, support. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.